Hello, this is Christy. In today's tutorial for XN View, I'm going to show you how you can quickly watermark one or more images with no extra effort and also for free. I will be using XN View today, which is downloadable for free at xnview.com. The link is in the description as well. And I'm going to be using this logo to watermark all of these photos in this folder here. They're all different sizes, so the size doesn't really matter. This is an automated process and it's really quick and easy to do. What you have to do is just open XN View, go to the Tools menu and choose Batch Processing from this menu or you can press Control U. In the Batch Processing menu, you can first of all add the images you will be using to process on, not the watermark. So we will click here to add or add folder. If you want to add an entire folder to this, I'm going, I'm just going to add and go and select the photos I want. So these are the photos. I'm going to just select all of them except my watermark file, which I'm going to add later. So there's 10 images here that I want to watermark all at once. And I've just selected them. Click OK. And you can see them in this list here. This is the list to process. And we will just have to go to the second tab now, transformations. And there are many transformations I can apply here to the images, but I'm going to go to the watermark right down here, watermark. And I'm going to, first of all, have to add a watermark. So click add. And We've added the watermark to the processing, but we need to know which image file to use as the watermark. So in the parameters section, you see image file here. Just go to the three dots and select the image. From this folder, I'm selecting my watermark here. It happens that I've exported this as a transparent PNG, but you don't have to. Even if it has a white background, it will still work. So I'm selecting my logo here, click open. And now you can see my watermark file is selected and I have some options. Opacity means how strong do I want this image to appear on top of the other images? I'm going to leave it at 100% for now. You can tick this box here to not use the alpha of the picture. Alpha means the transparency channel. So if I want to make my picture flat before it's used as a watermark, I can tick this box to not use the transparency of the picture. In this case, I want to use it. And also there's another option here. Where do I want this watermark to be placed? By default, it's in the center, but I can choose these options, top left, top center, middle right, whichever you want. I'm going to leave it to center and also these two controls control. If you change one of these options to maybe top left or whatever, you can then change these to be a bit of an offset. I'm going to leave them to zero for now. Before I continue with this, I have to go back to the general tab and tell X and view where to put the resulting files. I don't want to actually replace my images with the watermarked versions. Maybe I'm not happy with how they're coming out. I want to change them or something. So I will have to specify an output directory. It's preferable to use an output directory because then you can just delete them from there and run it again with the new settings. So to specify the output directory, you can't click on this unless you take off this checkbox next to the use original path as output. As long as this is active, the images, the resulting images are going to be saved in the same place as the original ones. So I need to take this off and then I will be able to select these three dots here to specify the output folder. If you need to, you can make a new folder. And then with the choice of folder selected, all of the watermarked images are going to be placed in here. All you have to do now is specify which format you want the resulting images to be. By default, they're going to be JPEG. You can go to the options here and specify quality. I want the best quality and maybe progressive. You know, this is up to you. Or you can choose one of these other formats. Click OK. And then when you're ready, you can click go. This will actually start the processing with the images in the list and applying this watermark effect with your options. Let's see what happens.
OK, so the operation has completed. Let's see what we have. Double click to go inside and you can see the logo is in the center of all the images with no transparency on it. So there you go. It's not too large. These images are quite large. They're like 5000 pixels each. If you want your image to take more space, you can actually make a larger image and use a larger image as a watermark. In fact, let me show you with an image that is about 4000 pixels. So again, go to the tools menu, batch processing. I'm going to remove all the images and add my own. And in the transformations, I'm going to go again to add watermark to my transformations and choose the image file. And this time I created another one that's called watermark 4000 and it's 4000 pixels. Click open and the opacity is 100 now, but let me make it less because I want the watermark to be visible, but not too visible because now it's going to be much larger. So I'm going to put opacity down to 50%. You probably want it even less, depending on your need for a watermark, you may want the watermark to be barely visible, but I'm gonna choose 50%. Make sure you go in and delete the previously created watermarked images, and now click go. So here they are, the processing has finished. Let's have a look. You can now see the watermark is sort of transparent. It's much larger and it fills all of the images. If some of the images are actually smaller than 4,000, it's not gonna actually resize the watermark. It's gonna just crop it. You need to find a balance between all of your image sizes and your watermark image. You may wanna make it smaller just to be safe. If you don't provide a color logo, maybe you provide a white one and you fade it out, it's gonna look like the watermarks you find on uh, different uh, websites that sell images and they want to watermark them. So I hope this tutorial was useful. Uh, it's quick and um, it's also free to use. XN View is free and the batch processing features in XN View are really cool and powerful and they can save you a lot of time and they do other things which I may cover in future episodes like resizing, rotating and all, a lot of other effects you can apply to images, conversion to black and white for example, all in batches so you don't have to do it repeatedly and manually. Thank you for your time. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, feel free to subscribe now for more design and graphics tutorials. See you next time.